lined up on the border with Syria, but going nowhere. These aid supplies are for tens of thousands of people who fled the fighting in Dera province, but they remain stuck beside a desert road in Jordan. Ibrahim has a lorry full of food. The engine runs day and night, keeping it cool. He is Syrian. He left Dara with his family in 2014. Nobody knows what's going to happen, whether we will go in or not. I feel optimistic. I haven't seen my relatives in four years. Just a few dozen Syrian refugees remain at the border with Jordan. This mother of four suffered a scorpion bite in the desert. She told me she'd traveled for three days to escape the fighting. But thousands of displaced people who were here have returned to Dera. Jordan is home to more than a million Syrian refugees. It refused to take any more from the latest fighting. Russian airstrikes backed up the Syrian regime's recent offensive in Dera. The province was a symbol of rebellion, the place where the uprising began. The UN says the latest fighting has left tens of thousands of people in desperate need of shelter, food and clean water. What we are appealing for from the different parties fighting on the ground is that we need unimpeded, sustained access, a lull in the fighting so that we can get to these people with as much assistance as possible. The Syrian regime has been back in control of most of Dera since last week. Cross-border aid has since been unable to go in. Jordanian troops took us to their closed border crossing with the province, a bustling trade route years ago. But the tourists are long gone and the duty-free shops shuttered. Only soldiers now, keeping watch at the edge of a conflict that has strained Jordan's borders. Well, from here you get a real sense of how the landscape has changed in Syria's war. Until just a few days ago, it was rebel groups that held the other side of this crossing, patrolling Syria's border. Today, it is President Assad's men back in charge. Aid workers say privately supplies are stuck because the Syrian regime is refusing access to cross-border assistance. This warehouse, full of private donations from Jordan, is overflowing, like the UN aid nearby. Help is on hand, but it can't reach those who need it. Tom Bateman, BBC News, Ramtha on the Jordan-Syria border.